Breach is almost here, my dudes, and I could not be more excited. Yeah, so this week, the first Reach flight is supposed to be happening. Reach on PC, that is. Now, it's going to be to a very small subset of players. Apparently, it's going to be pretty tiny so they can test their delivery pipeline. And if all goes according to plan and it works out smoothly, then I guess flying expands out to everybody else. So today, I want to hit on some of the news that was talked about in the latest Waypoint update and talk about Reach stuff. So first of all, Yudashek over at Waypoint just posted this update talking about both Infinite and MCC. Let's start with Halo Infinite. Bunch of news that we got there. First of all, release date, holiday 2020. It's coming to the entire Xbox family of devices, including Scarlet and Windows PC. When does it take place in the universe? It follows the Master Chief's story sometime after Halo 5's conclusion. LAN! Halo Infinite will support LAN. Yes! Split screen! Split screen is up and running internally. Back in black. Ow, I hit my desk. Black undersuits will be in the game. Flighting programs. These opt-in flights will start small and slowly expand out until release. So yeah, there's going to be a beta. PC flighting will come a little bit later for PC players, but we're treating it as a first-class citizen. Player customization. If you like the level of armor customization options in Halo Reach, you'll be pleased. SR-152. Players who hit SR-152 and H5 Guardians. And yeah, I said H, that was weird. We'll receive a token of appreciation in Infinite. So, for you crazy people who hit 152 in Halo 5, you're getting a thingy in Infinite. I know Ubernick is ridiculously close to hitting 152 right now. You could go follow him on Twitter, because it sounds like he's going to get some goodies when 152 gets hit in Infinite comes out. That is so much playing. 152 is ridiculous, dude. Pro Team! There is an internal pro team for... Halo Infinite. Okay, that's the stuff that we learned about Infinite. Land support, that's pretty sick. And split screen, I think they had said before, like, right, we're gonna make it an effort to make split screen a thing in future Halo games, but LAN, that I really like. And I, I wonder if it's gonna be like true LAN, because right now in Halo 5, when they play their tournaments, don't they have to have like a, a server box or something on site? I don't know. But anyway, let's jump down to the Halo Reach PC news. According to them, if everything goes according to the plan, the first Halo Reach on MCC flight will begin next week, that's this week, to a small subsection of registered Halo insiders. We're starting more modestly because we've got quite a few levers to pull, and we want to ensure our delivery pipeline runs smoothly, blah, 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 blah. The team has a build which appears to be a strong candidate, but it's still in the middle of going through the test process as I type and as you read. That said, we're still targeting to release next week. I'll be sharing the details with the public, blah, 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 blah. I hope I get in. I really hope I get in. But when it comes to these small subject subsections, they might be looking for people with super specific PC specs and all sorts of stuff like that. So if I don't get in, I will be sad, but don't be sad for long because I think the bigger flights are probably only a few weeks away. Now with all this coming, I wanted to share with you guys kind of my thoughts for upcoming content on the channel, Halo Reach on PC, and setting expectations kind of correctly. So first of all, there's going to be more Vito 4BRs videos on the channel when it comes to Halo stuff. If you haven't been watching lately, I've put out, I think, four episodes of Vito 4BRs, the new season, and it's just me popping into Halo, playing live stuff, and talking. And live is always kind of fun because stuff goes awry. It's really tough to balance talking and playing at the same time. And I'm the type of player that makes a bunch of weird noises while I play. So what's not to love, right? What is not to enjoy? I will be focusing heavily on Halo Reach on PC once it finally gets here, like in terms of veto for BRs. We'll still keep doing other FPS content here on the channel. I've really been appreciative to you guys for letting the channel expand in the last year and a half to, you know, showcase different kinds of FPS titles. But at the same time, too, you know, my channel started with Reach back in the day. And it's kind of a dream come true. Very rarely on YouTube do you get the chance to pull back a, a game from like, what, seven, eight years ago and get to redo more of that stuff here on the channel. It's just cool. And I want to celebrate that with you guys together. I loved Reach a lot. I enjoyed it a ton. However, and this is a very key thing. I think people need to have realistic expectations. Well, what do I mean by that? Let's roll the clocks back. E3. Not that far back. Infinite is coming holiday 2020. 
it was a long time and I, I definitely have heard loud and clear from a lot of people that waiting five years between Halo titles it's a long time and I do agree that is a long long time I think I've said to you guys pretty clearly I'm much more in the camp of take your time do it right than I am rush it out and fix it later so I'm totally fine with whenever Infinite releases however because of that 2020 release date and because of this big five year gap in between Halo 5 and Infinite there is definitely a super hungry desire from the Halo community for anything and everything. Reach coming to PC, Reach coming to MCC, MCC coming to Steam. These are all fantastic, really, really cool things. But I do believe players should have realistic expectations. This is a port of a game that came out almost a decade ago. It's not a whole new game. It's not a remaster. It's not a reimagining. So a lot of those old frustrations that were present with Halo Reach, they're still gonna be there. And I just, I hope people have expectations going in that are tempered so that they're not disappointed and getting angry when like, it's not a new game. It's, it's not that. And so I just, I hope that people recognize, yeah, there's gonna be some really outdated and frustrating things about some of these older titles. Any of you who play MCC day to day, week to week, kind of know about that. It's a celebration of these older games, but some aspects haven't aged really gracefully. Okay, that is going to be way true with Halo Reach. Are they doing some smart things like making TU settings pretty much the default, I think, except for Invasion? Yeah, they, they are. That's a really good idea. But don't go in expecting a totally new experience. It's a great holdover between now and then. I'm super excited. And who knows, once it does get to PC and modding support becomes a thing, obviously it's going to create tons of new content and new opportunities for players. Not like YouTube content, but like player content. It is super, super good, but just don't position this in your mind as a brand new Halo game. There's obviously some new players and younger players where it's probably going to be that. But I think as long as you are firmly rooted, knowing that, hey, there's some annoying armor abilities and hey, I can't wait for people to experience a really good team on sword base who hold the upper elevator room to enjoy what that pain is like. SWAT on PC is gonna be really cool. Halo Reach SWAT was a lot of fun. And I think that's gonna just be brutal on PC once people get really acclimated to mouse and keyboard. It's gonna offer some really good times. And snipers, any of you who've been on the channel for a long time knows, Team Snipers was one of my favorite back in Reach, CEA, all these things. I'm viciously excited for it so rewinding back to what i was saying earlier okay what's coming up on the channel for halo stuff obviously more veto for brs and while i am excited for reach on pc i do want to say we're going to be playing other titles in mcc the whole point of veto for brs is playing lots of halo games and just having a good time so if you want give me some suggestions of any types of videos you may be interested in watching for reach or for halo or veto for br kind of stuff it helps me out and I think that's pretty good data dump of news. You can obviously head over to Halo Waypoint. There's some more information over there about like, uh, I think there's a Face It tournament coming up and then there's, oh yeah, there's like a Red Bull thing going on where it's this overnight tournament that lasts a long time. Let me pull it up here just for a second because having Red Bull back involved is pretty cool. Halo Championship Series, Red Bull Rise Till Dawn featuring Halo 3. A Dusk to Dawn team duo. You can register online at redbullrisetilldawn.com. Kind of cool. And it's going to be in Chicago, July 13th through the 14th. I always love seeing a Red Bull sponsored event for Halo. Brings me back to the good old MLG days. Seeing a Walshy in his Red Bull cap. It's cool stuff, man. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you have an excellent start to your week. Do some fun stuff, and I hope that you get into this super small reach PC flight. If you do, tell me about it in the comment section, because I want to know so I can be jelly. Follow me on Twitter at BBKDragoon. It's the best way to talk with me. I love to chat with you guys on Twitter. Subscribe to the channel, hit the alarm bell, and I'll see you again in the next video.